it's been planned well in advance because the Russians know that the Winter Olympics are a potential target for terror groups. So from today, there'll be heightened security uh, outside Olympic venues and Olympic infrastructure. All vehicles which are not registered in Sochi uh, will be stopped from coming into the city unless they have special permission. Uh, shops will be forbidden from selling firearms, explosives and ammunition. So hunting shops, for example, won't be able to sell hunting rifles. And uh, security zones will start operating. There'll be a controlled zone near Olympic venues. Uh, you can get into those if you have a ticket for an event uh, and proof of identity. And there'll be the so-called forbidden zone outside Sochi, large areas outside Sochi too. Now add to all of that, tens of thousands of police and interior ministry troops, warships in the Black Sea and anti-aircraft missiles. And you can see why Russian officials are calling this the most secure games ever. And of course, Steve, all of this comes just what, just over a week after what's been happening in Volgograd, the terror attacks in Volgograd. Can you tell us more about who is supposedly targeting these games? Who wants to disrupt what the, what's happening in Russia? Well, still no group has actually admitted carrying out the, uh, the two suicide bombings in Volgograd. But the suspicion is that this is linked to Islamic insurgents in the North Caucasus. And we know that last year, the Chechen rebel leader Doka Umarov threatened to disrupt uh, the Sochi Olympics.